Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got our first Pokemon and ended up uh, going on a little fetch quest for Professor Oak. Now that we've got his package, we need to go back to Pallet Town and bring it to him. Yeah, this route's a lot easier when you're going north to south rather than south to north because you can just hop down all the ledges, you get there half the time. That is one feature of the game I really like. Oh, Poncho! How's my little Pokemon? Oh, it's growing more attached to us. Great. What's that? You have something for me. I love how it's attached to me. I'm not going to actually use it <laughs> and trade it away. <laughs> oh, it's a custom Pokeball. The GS ball, I wonder? Oh, great. Gary. I almost forgot. What'd you call me for? There is my mention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! I think he says that high-tech encyclopedia line in basically every game. <laughs> it's so funny. We got a Pokédex, alright. And if, if you know this, if you play the series, you know that basically all the Pokédex does is it keeps track of how many Pokémon you've caught, like uh, which kinds, and then it keeps track of how many you've seen as well in the game. One of the objectives for this game is to complete it, basically catch all 150 Pokemon. But it's not required to, for you to do that to beat the, uh, to technically like beat the game. Hmm. Gary's getting a town map from his sister. Oh, he says, "Don't bother coming around to my place after this." Oh, I wonder what we should do next. Ask you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. I oh, got a map. All right. I'm just getting that for completeness' sake. I'm probably not going to use it that much. I pretty much know my way around Kanto. But for those of you who don't know, Kanto is the name of the region that this game is played in. All right. So now we've got the materials that we need to uh, catch some Pokemon, which is what we're going to need to do next. What's going to happen is that I'm going to catch five more Pokemon. And then we're gonna head over to the Pokemon Center and uh, trade for my six, my team of six. All right. Basically, the technique for catching Pokemon is you want to get their HP down as low as you can without KOing them, making them faint. And then, if you can, give them a status condition like paralyze, sleep, or freeze. That'll make it easier to catch them. You want to avoid giving them something like a burn or poisoning, because then if your Pokeball fails to catch them, your status condition could kill them. Alright, so now that HP is low, it's only level 3, so it's pretty easy to catch. The higher level Pokemon is, the harder it is to catch, and the better Pokeball you need. For these level 3 Pokemon, standard Pokeballs should do the trick. Alright, we got a Rattata. And I see it says Rattata's data was added to Pokedex. Rattata's data. Yeah, it's long and sharp frames, got it. Alright, no, no nicknames, we're not actually going to use it. Okay. Doesn't really matter what six Pokemon we catch, just as long as we have a Pokemon to trade for each of the ones we want. You can't just send Pokemon from one version to another. You have to trade them. And that's why that's why we have to go through the trouble of going out here and catching Pokemon that we're not actually gonna use. Because we had to have something to trade for the ones in version. Makes two. And a Pidgey Tattoo 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 Pokedex. Okay, yeah, Pokedex, we got it. Give a nickname? No. I hate the way it asks you that every time you catch them. Because later on in the game, there's a guy that allows you to nickname your Pokemon and change the nickname of a Pokemon that you don't like. But, uh, you can't actually change the nicknames of Pokemon you get in a trade. That's, that's the one downside to it.
Alright, I'm gonna go heal up, I'll meet you back here. And we're back. Let's get right back into this. Uh, during the cut there, I actually went and bought a couple more Pokeballs. Because I decided that I want to hang on to my Charmander. I don't want to trade it away. So instead of trading it, I'm just going to put it in the PC. And I'm going to catch uh, one more Pokemon. So it's just a Pidgey or a or whatever. And trade for it instead. Just in case we do get to a point where none of my Pokemon will obey me. I can always go back to raising up a Charmander and use it to get to the point where I can use it Pokemon. Hopefully it won't come to that, and I really don't think it will, but I'm going to keep him just in case. Because, like I said in the last video, one of the Pokemon on this team can be substituted for a Charmander. They are uh, sort of interchangeable, it's just a personal preference. At the end of the catcher and Pidgey, no. Alright, that's the mix three, right? We can catch three more. Scratch it! Scratch it! <sighs> Come on. Oh, critical hit. That sucks. Oh, we got level 7. We learn Ember, alright. That's nice to have. That's just what I want. Alright. Well, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't uh, missed one of these yet. Nothing's, nothing's escaping. That's good, at least. Let's see. How many more do we need? One more! Alright. Now, my party of six Pokemon is already full. I'm carrying six of them with me, the ones that, all the ones that I've caught. So when I catch this last one, there's not going to be any room for me to, to, me to carry it. So it's going to get transferred uh, back to the PC system, and we can go pick it up in the Poke, Poke uh, Center. Yep. Not only is that PC uh, in your room useful for item storage, and uh, PCs are also Pokemon Center, so it's also good for storage of Pokemon, so it's got a dual, dual use for that. And new nickname. I see it says, Pidgey was transferred to someone's PC. Place in box one. Okay. Alright, let's go get it. Alright, now I'm not actually going to trade any of them in this video, it's going to be in the next one. So sorry if I kind of misled you guys with the last, with my uh, commentary in the last video, but I, did the, I forgot I needed to go and catch all these six. But, uh, yeah, what's done is done. Anyway, I got a challenge for you guys. I've picked out what I think is the best team of six that can be made. Now, I want you guys to go down and post a comment. Which Pokemon do you think are the best six? And which Pokemon do you think I've picked? I want you guys to try to figure out what team of six have I put together. And I'll give you, eh, I'll give you two hints. First one. I didn't use any of the starter Pokemon. You already knew that. And the second is, once all Pokemon reach their final evolutions, they will all be dual-type Pokemon. And, uh, you guys already knew I was going to use a starter. I'll give you another hint. Once my team is complete, in the final evolutions, my team will be able to deliver a super effective attack to any Pokemon in the game. At least any Pokemon from the original 150. Later on in uh, Generation 3, there's Pokemon that doesn't have any weaknesses. But, uh, we're not gonna deal with it. Anyway, so go down and leave me a comment. Which Pokemon, which team of six have I picked? And which Pokemon do you think I should have picked? Anyway, well, uh, in the next video, we'll trade those Pokemon, and you guys will get to see how close your guesses were. See you then.